Richard Clark came for the park. Ah, uh, it was a lot. Mm-hmm. How much did you pay? I don't know. Did you uh, pay? I do not know, but it's you believe me. Sorry, but are you videotaping this? Why well, she just jumped in. I know, but this is a uh, kid's area. I don't think you're allowed to do this here. I'm just filming my bunch of workouts. She just jumped in to see. I understand. She won't be in some more. No, I don't want her to be in the video. I'm yeah, sorry. exactly. I agree. Can you please delete it? Yep. I'm going to have to record this. I have evidence. Sure, go ahead. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> what the hell did I just watch is what you're asking. Well, this just happened a few hours ago at the park, and let me explain what happened. So, in the footage, I was testing out my brand new heavy bag. It was a beautiful red bag, and I was just loving that summer weather that we're still having here in October. So I thought, okay, I'll just take it to the park. And I'll do a few rounds. So that's what I was doing. And I wanted to film my, my heavy bag workout for you guys to enjoy and there was no one there at the park. And then you notice that there was this little girl that showed up out of nowhere and then she started talking to me all of a sudden. So I just kept on my workout routine and I was listening to her and just, just having fun, just, just like a parent talking to a child or listening to a child. And then you noticed that the mother shows up a few minutes later and then she's just up in my face, like throwing all these accusations at me. I've never had this happen to me before. I wasn't doing anything wrong. And she was like, she got up and she got started acting Karen on me, as you can see in the footage. So her concern was that I was there at the park to film her kids, which obviously it wasn't. I brought a heavy bag. I set it up in the, at the park so I can hit it and, and film my workout. That's what I was explaining to her. And then she said, I don't want my child to be shown in the footage. I said, I agree. I don't want to appear in the footage either. I will edit her out of the footage. I just want to film my workout only. And I chose a specific day and time to film in the park, at that park because when there was no kids around. So the plan went wrong. And then she got up all in my face, so I turned off the camera. And what you didn't see happen afterwards was she called 911. And then she said on the phone, there's this man in the park, and he's threatening my children, and he's filming my little kids, and uh, uh, he, he's, he's using uh, foul language. I basically told her to fuck off because she was up on my face, and she wanted to delete all of my footage. I said, you can't delete all the footage because the, you can't show the proof. There's, there's no uh, view screen on my camera. It's an action camera. So how can you show the proof? And it was only one go. It was one take that I was filming of my heavyweight workout. So I had a lot of footage before this little kid showed up and ruined everything. So I said my piece. And then I was like, okay, what am I doing? I'm arguing with stupid people. And what was my rule again? Never argue. Only have conversations with people. If people start arguing with you, it's a waste of energy. Just cut it off. So that's what I did. I just cut her off. I just packed up all my stuff. And I grabbed my heavy bag. I took it down. And she was still on the phone with 911. Asking for police to show up at this kid's park to arrest me. <laughs> She's a crazy Karen in my mind. I was like. This must be like some sort of prank or something. Anyways, I gathered my heavy bag, took it down, I took all my punching gear and all that. I loaded it up in the car and she was relentless. She started filming my car and she started taking pictures of my license plate. So I drove off expecting a few hours later that the police would show up at my door because they would trace my, my car's uh, plate and then I would have a lengthy discussion with the police officer of what just took place at the park but they never showed up so far so i don't know what happens next but um 
this goes to show that Canada is full of Karens. And before they were called Karens, they were called white Western women. That's what I called them. Not all of them are bad. I'm not saying all of them are bad. But a lot of white Western women here in the West have a serious, serious attitude problem. Like this, this lady was a real nut bar. The kid, the kid was, was fine. She just started talking to me. But after a while, it started to sink into me. Like this little girl has to grow up with this nut bar woman for a long time. So it's probably this kind of woke PC crap liberal shit is going to rub off on her. And then the cycle goes on and on. So I really feel sad for the, the, the little kid. Um, yeah. You have no idea how many of these crazy Karens I've run into over my lifetime living here in Canada. And it, it's just, it's something about the West, this white privilege. It's not all of them. I'm not saying all of them are bad. But there is a big proportion of these types of women in the West. And you're probably wondering why some of us don't date you. This is one of the reasons why. All right. So I'm not trying to offend anyone here. I'm just trying to say my piece. And uh, yeah, watch yourself if you're a guy in the West. Seriously, just get out. <laughs> this Me Too crap is just going too far. Anyways, love you. Take care. Bye.